A topic that comes up around namespaces is about how they are related to things like containers, jails, and change root. So this video will be a quick demonstration to give you some ideas of how one can go about building custom namespaces, uh, both to make a jail-like area that limits access to parts of the system and as a way to make prepackaged environments to run specific services. Uh, there's a master namespace recipe located at lib namespace. Uh, when you boot your plan 9 system or when you log in, this is what's usually called to build the default namespace that you commonly see. And other programs you run will add to it. So Rio acts like a file system and adds to the namespace when you run it. Um, oftentimes WebFS um, will run when you start a terminal session and that'll also add to it. You can use unmount and bind to tear down and rebuild a very different namespace. Uh, but there is also a command that can be used to build a totally new namespace, uh, with your own namespace script. And that command is new ns, and it's part of the auth system. So I made a simple demonstration. So suppose I want to run a web server, and I want to make sure that no matter how the server gets compromised, an intruder isn't going to get shell access to any useful programs or data, or maybe I just want to have a simple web server set up with all the dependencies it needs, and I want to package it up to deploy it on other Plan 9 systems without having to worry about the local file system quirks. So I made a little directory here called www. And in it, I have everything I think my little web server will need. And I have a namespace recipe for it. So my example doesn't even have network interfaces, but I do have it mounting my little CO2 sensor here to show that it can access other hardware. Uh, to make it really simple, I'll have it set up to mount off a uh, file system listed in serve. So that way I'll just have to call that. So I already used servefs to post it up and serve. So now all I need to do is run the command. So it's auth new ns. I use n to specify the uh, script I'm going to use to build the namespace. Now normally you would run this with a command at the end and you have to keep in mind that that command would have to be in the new namespace but I'm going to leave nothing on the end and that'll just run the RC shell by default. And I've already copied all the necessary stuff to run RC into my little file system. And that's everything that's in there. So the only commands I have in here are RC, LS, and cat. So I can change directory. You can see it still reads from the little CO2 sensor here, but there's no other commands. So I can't, can't unmount, can't change anything else in this namespace. Uh, another option is to run this as auth slash none, which does the same thing, except it makes the default user in that namespace the none user, which has very limited access. 
Um, so if you want to play around with custom namespaces without manually going through with mounting and unmounting, uh, take a look at the lib namespace file and uh, and you can make your own and try it out with auth new ns and have fun.